in a short message, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to descend his blessings upon all of us, inshallah, and to let these words, inshallah, one of the main reasons to help all of us, inshallah, to purify our intention and to review our status in what pertains to our relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The message is, uh, it was attributed to one of the great scholars of our time, Sheikh Ahmed al-Masarawi. He's one of the great scholars in uh, science of Qara'at. He says, By money, you can buy the bed, but you can't buy the sleep. By money, you can buy the watch or the clock, but you can't buy the time or the blessings of the time. قال بالمال قد تشتري الطعام لكنك لا تستطيع أن تشتري الشهية. By money you can buy the food, but not necessarily you can have the appetite or the ability of the pleasure of eating the food. قال بالمال قد تشتري الدواء لكنك لا تستطيع شراء الشفاء. By money you buy the medicine. But you can't guarantee having the cure. End of the quote. I finished quoting his word. What's the message? The message, وَإِذَا مَرَدْتُ فَهُوَ يَشْفِينَ وَالَّذِي هُوَ يُمِيتُنِي وَيُحِينَ وَالَّذِي أَطْمَعُ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ لِي خَطِيئَةِ يَوْمَ الدِّينَ And before that, الَّذِي خَلَقَنِي فَهُوَ يَهْدِينَ This is the core message of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, Ibrahim alayhi salam, the fathers of the prophets, Abu al-Anbiya, Khalilullah, when he declared clearly that Allah quoted his quotation as a law for us, uh, he's telling us, follow the footsteps, be aware of what he's saying, because this part of our law, Allah is the one who created me and he is the one who gives me the guidance, so Direct your heart, yourself, your dua to him, not to anyone else, first of all. He is the one who gives me the food and the drink. He is the one who provides me with food and drink. He is the one who gives me the guidance. He is the one, in case if I became ill, any kind of sickness gives me the cure. And he is the one that I ask him to forgive me in the day of judgment. He is the one, you meet me, thumma he is the one who gives me life and can bring me from death. So what is the message, the core message, respect to the brothers and sisters? And I know, I'm not bringing something new. What I've done, as I said in Khutbat al-Jum'ah, basically I'm just following the footsteps of the directions of Qawlillahi Ta'ala wa dhakir fa inna dhikra tanfa al mu'mineen. Nothing in you in my talk, brother, nothing in you. What, what is the new thing? It's not so new, just remind because reminder does benefit believers. Insha'Allah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be from the believers. Or otherwise, why we are here? <laughs> really? Why we are here? From materialistic point of view, from worldly point of view, it's better to go to have some drink with a nice girl. Wallahi, it's better from human point of view. Otherwise, why you are prostrating doing this sujood here? Why? Because insha'Allah, Ya Rab, our motivation basically is part of our faith. We have the faith. So part of our faith, basically, is to direct our hearts always that the real cause for anything good or anything happens in our life, basically, it's because of Allah. It's the, the decision maker is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having said this, please do your best to do the following two steps. If we believe in that, and I believe you, we believe, alhamdulillah. Let's do the following two things. If you are not from those who always say Alhamdulillah, keep saying Alhamdulillah for everything. Now, if you are from those, please let's all together share this reminder, which is do your best always to let your practical applications, i.e. actions, go in parallel with my claim and my claim. <laughs> practical application. And I end my talk, as I said, Imam Bukhari radiallahu anhu, he says, قَابَلْتُ أَلْفًا مِنَ الشُّيُوخِ كُلُّهُمْ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الْإِيمَانَ قَوْلٌ وَعَمَلٌ You know Imam Bukhari? Who is Imam Bukhari? One of the greatest scholars of Islam. You know, the one who composed Sahih al-Bukhari. 
not when we say or to be more accurate he is the one who collected Sahih al-Bukhari uh, he did not invent the Sahih just collected in that book radiyallahu anhu wa jazahullahu khayyahu wa rahimahullah this great Imam he is talking about his shiukh in their terminology his shiukh we are talking about the great great scars of tabi'i tabi'in after the Sahaba <laughs> We are talking about one of the greatest generations of the scholars in the history of Islam. He says about this category, he said, I've met 1,000 of my shiuch. All of them, they were holding the faith that Al-Iman Qawlun Wa Amal. Faith consists of something you declare, you say, and an action you do. Or otherwise, there is a big problem there's a question mark so this is just in my mind by the way the fact that i'm telling you this does not mean that i'm better than you maybe i'm the most person who's in need for this but it just anyone whom allah enabled to give this khatra should be reminding and by the way i i finish maybe this i'm speaking on behalf of everyone forget who's talking maybe you don't like the one who speaks by the way no problem maybe you don't like his methodology you don't like whatever Forget, think about the content. If the content, really, there is a reminder, think about it. Because you don't know from where the khair comes to you. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then, for Allah, alhamdulillah. Yes, brother. Can you hold, uh, there is a brother and his father died. Passed uh, away. Yeah. Can hmm? we say anything about the father? Who's? Yes. Azam Allah, ajrakum al-khir. Nasa Allah, alhamdulillah, 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 عبد الخالق هنا في كندا ولا في بلد اخر؟ في مصر في مصر الله سبحانه وتعالى رحمه اخونا الاستاذ عبد الخالق والد اخينا الكريم هنا يصلي معنا توفاه الله سبحانه وتعالى اليوم اليوم اخي قبل يومين توفي قبل يوم صلى الله عليه وسلم يرحمه ورحمه الله يغفر له I was saying just uh, your brother he is sitting here his father name is عبد الخالق in Egypt he passed away two days ago so inshallah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we make dua for him. And subhanallah, brother, let, let, let me give you the, 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 I always repeat the good news. Subhanallah, inna ka mayyitun wa innahum mayyitun. Who was the addressed by this? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The better of the creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him, whatever you do, the end, you will die, O Muhammad. So this is part of the sunnah of Allah, part of the law of Allah, alhamdulillah. Now the good news for us as believers, death is not the end of the story. It's not the end. It's just a gate. It's just a gate of transmission from a place to a place. And let me give you another good news. I don't know you, but you are praying here. The fact you are praying, I ask Allah, Allah. Allah. And one of the great group, you have tens of glad tidings in Islam. One of the best of those, if the son of Adam passed away, his channels of the rewards of his deeds in the dunya will be completely closed except from three channels. Channels of, you know, that keep feeding him with the rewards even after he passed away. It's amazing. I mean, so one of them that we need now is وَوَلَدٍ صَالِحٍ يَدْعُو لَهُ By the way, the word walad in Arabic is applicable on males and females. And just making the dua or doing the good righteous deeds, it will be going to him because he is part of his kasb, they say, which means the fact that you are a good person, you are a pious person, you are a righteous person is part of how he brought, how he raised you. So the khayr, in addition to that, with the intention, keep making dua. Maybe half of us, including myself, my father passed away as well five years ago, and I, we do our best. I think none of us, but have at least once from a dear close circle, uh, has passed away, you know, long time ago, short time ago. So alhamdulillah, as believers, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I know it's, it, it's not something easy. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us when he, and by the way, Prophet Muhammad in his time, he buried Khadija radiallahu anha, three daughters out of the four, Ruqayya, Umu Kulthum, Zainab, except Fatima, six months after him she passed away. And Ibrahim al-Qasim, when Ibrahim passed away, he was a very young, very young child. 
قال إن العين لا تدمع وإن القلب لا يحزن وإن على فراقك يا إبراهيم لمحزون ولكن لا نقول إلا ما يرضي ربنا إن لله وإن إليه راجعون Yes, the tears will come I have sorrow, I have sadness in my heart Yes, but I will do nothing I will say nothing except what satisfies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To Allah we belong and to Him we will return back Alhamdulillah, this is the beauty and the importance of our faith it's just a gate. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Rasulah bin Ma'i wa Thalji wa al Barad wa al Yudilahu Daran Khairan min Dalihi wa Ahlan Khairan min Ahliha. Allah min Kana Muhsinan Fazid fi Ihsanih wa in Kana Musi'an Fatajawaz an Isa'atihi ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah min Fadlana Fawqa al Ardi wa Tahta al Ardi wa Yom al Ardi alayka ya Kareem. Warhamna warham walidina walidi walidina ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanahu wa Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun wa Salamun ala al Mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa Adhu Allah.